Welcome to DBL. Today we are continuing our week-long series classic game show host, Where Are They Now? He appeared on the Johnny Carson Show more than any other singer ever. He starred on Broadway, in movies, and TV. On top of that, when it comes to game shows, he is the face of the 1980s from That's Incredible to Time Machine to Hollywood Squares. You'd have to be living under a rock to not know the name John Davidson. And today, he is joining us live. Yes. <laughs> yes, John. Hi. Hi, welcome to DBL. Before we dive, hi gang. This is <laughs> congratulations on the show. It's going well. Thank you. Yeah, we feel pretty lucky. We love what we do. Just like you know, you've always loved entertainment, from singing to hosting game shows. Uh, before we dive into the legend, that is Hollywood Squares. I wanted to chat with you about that's incredible. A show that had some amazing and dangerous acts. During one of the episodes, your co-host Fran uh, Tarkington. Yep talked with a very young guest who is making headlines today. Let's take a look at that clip. This is Eldrick Tiger Woods, and Eldrick is an accomplished golfer. He wins tournaments on a regular basis and has shot close to par on 18-hole courses. Incredibly, Tiger here is only five years old. Wow, and you know, you know, Tiger is recovering in the hospital after his horrible car accident yesterday. What do you remember about Tiger being on the show, and what was he like at that young of an age? Well, I must tell you, I uh, unfortunately I just watched the clip after Fran had already done it. Uh, Kathy Lee Crosby and Fran and I uh, did that's incredible. But the secret to the show was this incredible production staff that put all these stories together. So often I would go out and uh, interview people that uh, Kathy Lee wasn't there or Fran. So we, we, we all had different, because Tiger was a young sports figure, so uh, Fr Fran did that one. Uh, I was proud of that's incredible when it celebrated human triumph over mental and physical obstacles. Mm. I, there were moments on that's incredible when we had arguments, uh, Kathy Lee and Fran and I, about uh, about the truth of what we were doing. We did, and, and we, we did some things that were clearly magicians and claiming that they had ESP or something, and they were just doing a magic trick. So it was it was controversial in that way, but I was very proud of the show. It was a top five show for three years. It was great. John, thanks for being here, first of all, and I gotta get back to Hollywood Squares because I know you guys had a blast on that show, sometimes at your expense, but we dug up a little <laughs> clip. I wanna show you and then get your side of the story. Are you cheating? You looked at your car. I saw him looking at your car. Oh. You looked back at your card. Uh, I saw him look oh. at your card. I, I knew the answer. No, wait just a minute. Oh. I saw him leaning back like this and looking at no, the card. No, I check, please. I knew, oh. I knew looking at the card. I, I saw knew the you answer. right here. I knew I the answer. I hate it here. going through your mind when that when that contestant took a dive I I, I couldn't get my breath I, I literally couldn't breathe it was a fourth it was a uh, April Fool's joke they played on me and the whole studio audience knew that these were stunt people that the girl was a stunt lady and the guy so they were in on it and all the stars in the big uh, apparatus the big tic-tac-toe board across from me they all knew it but uh, I was just blown away I thought she'd killed him uh, she <laughs> She pushed him backwards off of our pedestal, which is about, it's more than, it's like 12, 13 feet. Whoa. In the, in, and he fell onto a mattress. So it just scared the hell out of me. I love doing squares because I get, got to meet a lot of famous people uh, without going to Hollywood parties. And, and uh, <laughs> uh, maybe I didn't go to enough Hollywood parties. <laughs> I, don't know, but, uh, I was the second host of squares. The first host, of course, is the classic Peter Marshall who's now 92 and a half, I think almost 93, and doing great. And I was the second host uh, after I, I used to guest on the show with uh, Paul Lynn and Karen Valentine and oh, all the Wally Cox and all the greats. And then I got to host it in the 80s uh, for a period of time. And then Tom Bergeron was the third host. So it's a proven format. Uh, 
all the stars were given jokes to do, but they weren't given the questions. And uh, it's it, it 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 my center square when I hosted it with Joan R Rivers and wow. uh, Tom Bergeron's center square was uh, 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 Whoopi Goldberg. So it's a proven format and was a lot of fun. All right, well, John, I, I'm sensing a theme here. I'm sensing that uh, a lot of times, a lot of people want to give you a hard time. So we found this clip from the show of another guest that like to give you a hard time. Mm -hmm. Can you believe this, huh? Here we are. Hello, squares. Hello. 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 By the way, I'm, uh, I'm told to hold this up. Um, what is that? It's, it's, it's John's book, My Story, <laughs> The Whole Story by John Davidson, a collection of his wit. <laughs> Notice how thin the book is. We're moving on! <laughs> now, tell us, John, was Alf your most difficult guest? Uh, no, he, he was great. Uh, uh, Alf, the guy who did Alf, was just so clever that, that just made him, you know. And it, I think he started. He had his own series at the time, and I think we kind of helped to to uh, launch Alf's career. So I was I was kind of proud of that. Very very clever guy. And I just love how how you don't take yourself seriously. It's so becoming, and I think that's why so many people became a fan of you is because you just you never got offended, and 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 always in on the joke. You truly are a jack of all trades. And I know the pandemic has stopped you from performing for now. So what's next? In about thirty seconds, because we're running out of time. Uh, out of time. Any big projects that are in the works for you this year? Oh, just live performing. I, I sing with my guitar I, and my banjo, and I, I do a, a live show. I'm uh, I'm developing a uh, a uh, supper club experience in Sandwich, New Hampshire, where I live, and I'm calling it Club Sandwich. I love <laughs> it. Seems like, a, seems like a good idea. Mm -hmm. And I'm doing my live show there uh, starting next summer, uh, starting this summer when COVID-19 is hopefully gone. Yeah, we hope so. And I hope that we can somehow go out and see you perform. You have such I just an incredible want a club voice. sandwich. I want to eventually live in sandwich. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, John, thank you so much for joining us here in DBL. And to our DBL Nation to see everything that John is up to, visit his website, johndavidson.com. Thank you, John. Thanks, John. Thanks, John. We'll be right back. Thanks, everybody. See you next time. Bye.